Trial of Cambodian reporters who used to work for U.S. begins. Nam Pen, Cambodia AP U the espionage trial of two Cambodian journalists who formerly worked for a U.S. government-funded radio station began Friday, almost two years after their arrests. Yonchen and Ying Suthiran appeared at the Nam Pen Municipal Court to defend themselves against the charge that they had undermined national security by supplying information to a foreign state, which is punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Rights groups have characterized their case as a flagrant attack on press freedom. The pair, who had already left their jobs with Radio Free Asia, were arrested in November 2017 during a crackdown on the media and political opponents of Prime Minister Hun Sen's government, ahead of the July 2018 general election. Radio Free Asia By the end of 2017, the government had closed more than two dozen radio stations some of which had rebroadcast Radio Free Asia's programs. The English language Radio Free Asia is funded by an independent U.S. government agency, and says its mission is to The former journalists in interviews this week with the Associated Press insisted they have done nothing wrong and hoped the court would drop both the charges against them. Police in March 2 If We Rohit Mohajan, a spokesman for Radio Free Asia, said in an email that the two face unsubstantiated. They Police initially said the two had been detained for running an unlicensed karaoke studio. But they were later, the two were released on bail a month after the 2018 election, which was swept by Hun Sen's Cambodian People's Party in a vote widely seen as neither fair nor credible because the pro-government courts had dissolved the main opposition party in November 2017. The conditions for granting release on bail included monthly police station visits and confiscation of their passports. Hun Sen, who has been in office since 1985 and has held a tight grip on power since ousting a co-prime minister in a bloody 1997 coup, has a record of cracking down harshly when facing a serious challenge, then affecting reconciliation when he no longer feels threatened. The pattern has generally kept human rights groups and Western governments off balance and moderates their criticism. However, the they Smoking no cooking the hot pot. Yeah, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.